I'm asking you, guy. Bob, the science guy, what are three the three critical, crucial parts of a scientific experiment? Every single one. What are they? Well, let's see. Uh, go ahead, Google real fast. Three. If I were to pick three, I would probably say the null hypothesis in testing for the no, null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is not part of the experiment. The You're, you'd fail fifth grade general sorry. science, sir. Hold on, hold on a second. Okay, that's fine. I fail. Hold on a second. Sorry. Not a problem. The, the question, I can live with Bob, that. Bob, Bob, what are the three yeah. constituent parts of the experiment that comes after the hypothesis? It is your hypothesis test. So not the null hypothesis... But in the testing of the hypothesis, otherwise known as the experiment, what are the three main constituent parts of an experiment, Bob? Not the null, well, that's wrong. Say, let's see. Your independent variable, your dependent variable, and I don't know what you would consider the third one. Controlled variables, Bob. Those are the variables that are held constant so as to not influence the interaction between the independent and dependent variable. Works for me. Works it works for, me. for you now. You are a professed scientist that didn't know the three con constituent parts of an experiment. It's like a butcher that say. doesn't know ribeyes come them. from cows, sir. Thank you very much. Whatever you Have think. a nice day. He just he just expressed them. He said what you said. Just because he didn't know what you were looking for, as well, just because he didn't know the answer, Kosho. He's declaring himself as the science guy, and yet when asked a direct question about what an experiment is, he didn't know. But you think just because he doesn't know, that's an excuse, you stupid idiot. No, I know for it demonstrates admirably that Bob the science guy is actually Bob the fraud guy because he hasn't got the vaguest clue what science is. Otherwise, he'd have known that answer off the top of his head. He didn't. Nathan, you don't know the you don't know the definition of scientific method and you can't use it no don't project what just happened here bob you were asked a very specific question about what science is and you failed to answer it you're now being defended by kosho well, apparently not knowing is okay fraud, you don't even understand the scientific you're method. a fraud spin sorry i'll say it again bob demonstrably so you do not know what an experiment is that was what was just demonstrated by john that's what's just happened. So you now declaring that I don't know what science is isn't what's no, just been demonstrated. I, I think right, then tell me what's your independent and the dependent variable in seismology. The science of seismology. How about astronomy? Astronomy is not How science. How about genetics? That's a sorry. field of research. So astronomy is not science. Not directly so, sorry, involved Owen, hold on a second. I want to, I want to, I want to hold him to account okay. on that. How about sorry, seismology? hold on a second, Bob. Did you just say the science of astronomy? Yes. Seismology. Is what oh, saying. right. So we've just and gone through. Hold on, Bob. Bob, Bob it's okay, Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. No need to rumpus me. So the science of astrology. We've just rumpus. established. I got another bingo card. Uh, it's okay, Bob. You don't need to rumpus me, Bob. So I got a third this... bingo card. Yeah, all right, Bob. It's okay. Nathan. This is your only tactic. Do you know what's coming? Do you know the pummeling they that you're about to get? Nathan. So we're talking about astronomy. And you're saying it's yeah. science. So, Bob, given that we've just established what a hypothesis and an experiment is, and that the experiment mm -hmm. has an independent and dependent variable, according to you, yeah. I'd like to know what the independent variable is when the science of astronomy is being done, please. You tell me. Hmm. How about the path of a comet? Sorry. Do you know what an independent variable is? Yeah, it's the one that you what, vary. Tell me. It's the one you vary What as the researcher. The one that's varied, yes. So a comet, would that fall into that category? Yes. Oh, you vary you and vary, manipulate... You, you can vary, vary the path and manipulate of a comet? comets, do you? It's been explained so many times. Sorry, Kosho, there's no need to come to his defence again, Kosho. Yes, your teammate is about to be raped. That's correct. You can try and hold us off him, but we are going to pummel Bob the pseudoscience guy with his current assertion that meteors are an independent variable and can be varied and manipulated by a researcher. Is that your assertion, Bob? No. It is your assertion. You're just doubling back because it's wrong. 
No, so, I'll ask again. If it's not, variables. no problem. No problem. It's not. No problem. Nathan? It's no problem. It's not. Are you going to let me finish? Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm going to ask again because you gave the wrong answer, Bob. So it's not the independent variable of meteors. So I'll ask again. What is the independent variable when you're meteors doing the comments. science? Oh, he's talking again of astronomy, not meteors. Meteors just said and that isn't. And meteors and comets would be great ones. Ask oh, we've just established that they're not independent variables because they're not variable by the researcher. We just established that, Bob, you circle-jerking retard. It seems you can't keep up with the conversation. So, no, I'd like you to tell me the independent variable that these astrophysicists are varying and manipulating to cause the effect of the absom uh, of the <laughs> of the phenomena that they are observing. You're misapplying the definition, Nathan. No, you just told us what is required in an experiment. You told us, Bob. Okay. You need to have an independent and, and a dependent Perfect. variable. Excellent. So I'll ask again. In the astrophysicist's realm of science, what is their independent variable that they're varying and manipulating to cause the effect of the phenomena that they're observing? I've already answered that, Nathan. Yeah, you said comets. Now I'm going to said, declare that you're a complete fucking idiot. Because comets are not varied and manipulated by researchers, are they, Bob? So, that makes you a fucktard. It's enough who, to who, know this. Oh, Kosho's here again. Hey, Kosho. Hey, Kosho. Is it nice watching him getting Nathan. battered? Do you need to defend you? him? Pull us off him while we point out I've just said, how big a fucktard he is. Yeah, comets aren't a variable time. that you can vary and manipulate, Nathan, Bob. I would expect you to know that, given that you just declared what an independent variable is. Are you just going to continue to ramble on, Nathan? Yeah, and yeah. point out what a complete fucktard you are. You complete <laughs> and utter retard. You I have got a variable that you can you, vary you, and manipulate done, to cause I'll... the phenomena of the stars, but you can rumpus me and project onto me, can't you, Bob? You complete fucktard. So comets aren't an independent variable. I'll ask again in that case. What are the independent variables being used in the pseudoscience of astrophysicists? Realm of science. Hello, Bob. He's already, he's already answered the question. Not you, Kosho. I, you know again, Kosho, well. Kosho. Yeah, All your right, teammate is getting a pasting. That doesn't mean you need to come to his rescue. Doesn't mean you need to virtue signal. It just hey, means you need to shut the shut fuck up, up and enough. watch Bob the scientist get his ass handed to him by me. Nathan. Hey, theater major. Oh, right. Now it's ad hominem time. Well done with the ad hominem. I'd like the independent variable used by astrophysicists. What's an ad hominem by calling you a theater major? Are you not a theater major? Sorry, what relevance does this have to the independent variable used by a pseudoscientist? You said it was an Nan Hobbin and re uh, attack. Are you saying I'm attacking theater majors? It's yeah, no. Yeah. It is ad hominem it a attack proper... because you're attacking his person rather than the argument. By definition, I'm not attacking that is an ad hominem. I just addressed him by his, by his degree. Are you not but a theater I... major, Nathan? Yeah, I'll say it again. No. It's just been illustrated twice by both me and John. This does not address the question. It attacks me, the man. Ad hominem. At the man. So your address to me being a theatre major does not address the actual issue and instead addresses me, the man. Ad okay. hominem. I was trying to get the man's the attention. Man. Speak now? So again, Bob the fallacy guy has used a fallacy. I've pointed <laughs> it out. And you've denied it, claiming it's not a fallacy, because all you have is denial and fallacy. May so, I speak? I'll ask again, because you've distracted away from the point with an ad hominem. So, what's the independent variable being used by pseudoscience astrophysicists? I don't know what pseudoscience astrophysicists do, but... Wh That's what they are, they're pseudoscientists. Because unless you can give me an independent variable, as declared by you, needed in an experiment, then they're not doing science. How do you say that? Because if... I've just explained it. Literally, what was it, four seconds ago? Literally, it was four seconds ago. Okay, who defines that the, the experimenter must personally, by hand, 
very something, or does the experimenter just the simply need to have something to uh, uh, Let me answer that. Let me answer <laughs> that. Okay, so uh, let me answer that. Saying, let me answer that. That would be you. You. You were the one who answered that saying, question by declaring <laughs> that you should have a variable. So, yeah, that would be you that define that, Bob. <laughs> you stupid idiot. I mean, this is very amusing, Bob, but you are quite literally a fucktard. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. It's yeah. great, isn't it? Yeah. And you're quite hey, you're, amusing. You're a doctor. Now, I'm going to pin you down on this, Nathan. Are you telling I'm me that unless the examiner personally and physically manipulates something, they can't manipulate it? Yes, I, an independent variable must be capable of being varied and manipulated by the researcher. It also is your presumed cause of the effect. It also must be real. So things like R, they don't count. Things like gravity, they don't count. It must be something real and capable of being varied and manipulated by you the researcher.